49ers suffer a huge loss in the form of Talano Hufonga, but it was Jair Brown who stepped up big time against the Bucks. But how is Jair Brown going to do the rest of the way out now that the San Francisco 49ers have to rely on a rookie to go out here and be on the back end of the defense? Well, John Lynch joined KMBR to discuss what he sees in Jair Brown and why he has a ton of faith in the third round rookie out of Penn State. Take a listen right here. It's kind of a two part question. One, your reaction to the Hufanga injury. And then two, how ready or not ready is Jair Brown for this moment? Yeah, first of all, with Huff, I mean, those type of guys are, are hard to replace. Um, you know, I, th- I think he just plays with a, uh, an energy, with a passion. Uh, he's an instinctive player, he's a playmaker. Uh, he gives a lot to our defense, and um, you know he, he's he's made so many plays. He fires up our stadium. He fires up our players. The other in Jacksonville, he makes that interceptions, and you know the the T for for you know the Tongan thing that uh, that they do. That his 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 uh, hallmark celebration. Our entire team's doing it. I can see our whole stadium. So he's one of those energy givers. That man, it's hard to lose a guy like that. Um, you know, I do feel very fortunate. We traded up to get Jair Brown for a reason. He's a really good football player, and uh, he's got, um, much like Huff, he's got an ability to make plays, and, uh, you know, that was tested right away, and uh, I was really proud of the young man. He came in, Baker threw an incredible ball, um, but, you know, what Jair did, it was his guy, and he uh, he tracked him down, and he gave us a chance to keep playing, and then he settled in, and I thought he made it a uh, a number of plays in that game, was flying around, playing fast. And he's a very similar player to Huff in terms of, uh, you know, their time speed may not be the best in the world, but, man, they play fast. And, uh, you know, they they see the field very well. And then uh, Jair, you know, has tremendous ball skills, as we saw evidenced by that pick at the end. So, um, you know, he's he's been biding, biding his time, been getting better each week. The coaches have done a great job been a big time special teams contributor and uh, really proud of the way he's worked and stepped up when he was asked to. So it's not ideal because we lose a great player, but um, you know, we're excited about the opportunity now to see Jair and see what he can do. John Lynch, the 49ers GM joining us on the UMA guest on this morning. And John, I wanted to go back to the draft process and your guys' decision to draft Jair Brown. Now, I'd love to see how you just broke down his skill set, how it compares to Hufunga, but I'd also like to see how you guys viewed it complementing the skill set of Talano Hufunga if the plan was moving forward to have these two guys in the back end of your defensive backfield. Well, I, you know, I think you try to get as many good players um, as, as you can. Um, you know, uh, somebody forgot to tell Tashawn Gibson that he's getting older uh, because he keeps playing at a really high level, and so it's... Uh, we're very fortunate to have him, and uh, I was, you know, to truth be told, I was looking forward to having all of them and, uh, you know, finding a way to involve them all. So, But that's not always what happens, and, uh, you know, football, unfortunately, you do endure these things. Um, you know, had a, had a bad feeling, you know, once I saw what happened to Huff, um, you know, went in and saw him in the locker room after. He was still hanging on to hope. Um, you know, I was trying to, but, uh, unfortunately that's not, that wasn't in the cards, but with Jair, I think the, oper- yeah, of course, you know, you think, okay, we, we re-signed Gibson for another year. And then, you know, ideally you'd like to see those two play and play together. And I think they'd be a tremendous tandem and hopefully we get to see that someday. Um, because I think it'd be really good for our team. Um, uh, but, but right now we've got enough back there and, uh, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, as, as I said prior, I'm, I'm looking forward to Jair getting, getting uh, more play time to, to see how, uh, how he can help us. Is the, the general book on him, we're talking to John, John Lynch, 49er GM, kind enough to jump on Tuesday on a short Thanksgiving week, Niners Seahawks on Thursday at 520. Um, is the general book on him, though, like you say he plays like Hufunga, that better at run coverage than pass coverage? And is that a concern going in with, you know, big play guys like DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett? I don't know. I think Huff is pretty good at pass coverage, so hopefully that wasn't misinterpreted. I, mean, I think Huff's a very complete player, and uh, I, I know Jair is. Jair is a ball hawk. Uh, got ten interceptions his last couple of years at two different levels: the junior college level and the 
you know, at Penn State, led the nation in, in interception. So I think he's a guy who, uh, who you know, has the ability to, to play well in all facets of his game, much like Hufunga. So, um, you know, I don't want to crown him, um, but they, they're, they're similar in that, like, you know, like I said, they, they didn't light up the combine with their 40 times but they play extremely fast and the GPS speed speak to that. And, uh, you know, uh, with Jair, you're talking about a team captain type of guy at, at, at Penn state. So he, he's got a, uh, a, a similar love for the game, a passion for the game. And it, and it manifests itself with uh, really physical fun play out there on the field. What role John does uh Tayshawn Gibson and, or say like a Fred Warner play, you know, old Yoda to young Jedi here. Because, you know, it's good. Th- short week, road environment, tough game. So mentally, you know, assignments and, uh, yeah. and places to be. Is that on? Is that Gibson and Fred Warner now? They're the, they're the teachers? Yeah, I mean, I think Fred is, you know, Fred's the, the very much a, a leader of this team, if not, you know, and uh, uh, the defense. But, and he is the signal caller. But on the back end, the safeties are involved in so much communication, and Huff was extremely good at that, as is Tashawn Gibson. I mean, all that experience that Tashawn has will come in handy, but uh, Jair has done a, a great job from the first day he came in here of knowing his assignments, knowing them well. So much of the back end uh, at safety is communicating the coverages, the changes of strength, and all those things, and Jair has done a, a really good job. So it's great to have a vet back there like um, Gip um, to help him along, but he done he's shown not to lead a whole lot of help, and we're going to need him to do a lot of the communication. So um, it's time to step up, and I you know I think he did that in in really cool fashion. I'm personally really excited about Jair Brown. You know, you heard John Lynch talk about all the traits that they saw throughout the draft process and why they went up and traded for him into the third round to make sure they got him. And it was one of the, it was a lot of the same reasons why I loved him. He was a draft crush of mine. He was one of my favorite safeties coming out. He was a guy that I've took in multiple mock drafts, and I'd really identified as a good fit for the San Francisco 49ers for all the reason that John Lynch identified. He's a ball hawking safety. He can play the run. You can see the energy that he plays with, and he has really, really good game speed. So. And just watching the game back and doing our film breakdown on the channel earlier, you could see his game speed show up on the film uh, in this game against the Bucs. So I'm really excited about it. Obviously, the circumstances aren't ideal. Um, Anytime you lose an all pro safety uh, or an all pro in any regard, that's a huge hit to your team. But the 49ers do turn to a promising young rookie, Jair Brown and John Lynch has a ton of faith. I mean, that's a pretty good vote of confidence when a Hall of Fame safety, one of the best safeties to ever play the game, in John Lynch, one, targets you in the draft, goes out and snatches you up, and makes sure that you don't go anywhere else. I mean, look at the success that the 49ers have found with Talanohu Fonga, who is a fifth-round draft pick, and he is an all-pro. Uh, we'll see what happens with Jair Brown, but based on John Lynch's track record, I've got a lot of faith as well. Let me know what you guys think about what John Lynch had to say on KMBR. You can listen to the full interview. Go to the description, hit the link to the podcast page on KMBR, where you can see the whole thing, plus a ton of other podcasts. And also, you already know what to do. Comment below, hit that like button, and as always, Make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.